Hello. I just ended school and um, I'm going to the bus stop to go to the library and go home. Um, which is fun. Super fun because I get to go home earlier. But then I have math um, curse, I guess. That's how you curses. I don't know. Math lessons. So math lessons. But yeah. There's some construction work, so sorry for the sounds if you hear some. But I just got back from library. I'm going home, walking home now. Um, I got the book. Like is when I was uh, going, when I went into the library, I looked for the book and it wasn't on the shelves, so I had to ask the librarian for it. And thankfully, they had like a second co copy, which is just slightly worse condition. But like, I don't care. I need a book. It's for school project. I need to read it. It was my summer reading, but I didn't read it because I would forget everything and yeah, not that good if I read it too early. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going home. I don't have any homework, I think. Yeah, I don't have any homework, but I have to um, get into my online math lessons, which is the first one of the ones I'm going and it's gonna be a lot of work. I'm so sorry for the sun. The lighting is so big. But yeah. That's my life today. So yeah. See you when I probably get home. Bye. Hello. I'm home. I had the math um online lesson. And I was thinking of the books I'm reading. Um, the two books I have already started and I'm reading are these two. Uh, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder I started with and I'm on page 79 but haven't picked it up for a good while because I actually started and like I'm actively reading uh, The Picture of Dorian Gray and I've been loving it. I've been annotating it pretty heavily because I'm actually planning on doing some like analysis work as maybe for a team essay or something. Like even though this is a book that I picked up for fun, I wanna like get my thoughts down on paper or whatever and like do some analyzing because literally Annotating and reading this has been so great. I've been finding so many different topics and views how to analyze this book that I just want to do it, even though this is purely for fun, not at all academic. But right now I'm on page 125, so this has like 240, I want to say, pages. So I have like half of the book, I'm like 50% ish finished with this book I want to read this and just love it and it's 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 just amazing this book is such a great classic I love it I'm gonna make a separate video for this book probably and then today I picked up this book this is a Latvian book about the World War II and this is a book I need to read for school and actually analyze while I honestly don't know, interesting, I just like flip through the pages and there's just stars. So this is right now my TBR for this upcoming month slash just my TBR for the, I don't know, the amount of time I will be reading this. My two priorities are these two, this because I've just been actually actively reading and I love it, and this because it's for school. And this one has been just picked up and I want to finish it in October because I believe, which I was using, I had a thing where... I had a little challenge, uh, which is Kayla's Reading Challenge by Kayla's book. I don't know their um, channel name, but by Kayla. And I have books by Kayla, books on Lala, that's the account. But yeah, 
I haven't been reading that much, but my October, no, November um, prompt is good, so I'm going to be using Good Girls Guide to Murder. I'm just rambling now. But yeah, these are the books that I'm going to be reading. started studying it is Sunday today and next week is gonna be very very stressful for me so I decided to get my Sunday and like have it as a very much study day where I practice for tests do most of the homework for the week because this week I'm gonna have about like six tests at least five I know for sure they are put in the schedule and I know they're happening and then there's two that the teachers have said that there's gonna be a test but I'm not sure if there's gonna be a test but anyways I am studying a lot I have a very big notion to do list I've been loving um, organizing my life and study stuff academic stuff and my notion now I have right now almost fully finished my physics studying. I did all my reviews of presentations and notes. I made tiny, very actually tiny flashcards. There are like, I don't know, seven terms that I need to know. And I just basically have done the term and like definition kind of on the other side that's exactly that's the last bit that i want to practice at least for today this is physics is my biggest focus on today kind of because tomorrow i have the test this is my first test of the next week it's on physics about temperature heat and stuff like that and that's why i want to still practice with flashcards, I have done basically the review of notes. I still want to kind of, when I finish most of my study plans for today, I still want to like practice a bit more for physics just because tomorrow is a test and others I'm just practicing for upcoming tests and the next week. But yeah, um, I'm going to probably either go do chemistry or math because for math i don't have like a test i just have a new subject unit unit that i need to see if i understand and for chemistry i have a test on tuesday so i'm trying to like mix up the order in which I'm studying the subjects. I don't want to be at all from like the most important to the least important because I want to get some practice for like the further tests that I have on Thursday. Also right now because I just want to get that good practice in. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. This was my little rambling to the next um, study time lapse and stuff. After school, I got off school earlier. I was home at like 
one. I want to say 1.30 maybe. Right now it's just two. I took a little break and now I'm ready to study for chemistry and biology. Tomorrow I have to test and I am low-key cramming but not really. Like I've been studying for the um, for a while, just yesterday, I planned to study for the uh, subjects, but I didn't because I was super tired and I already had um, practiced for my physics exam, which was today. And honestly, it went well. It's a test. It's not like a big exam. It's just a test for a unit. But um, I think it went okay. I had one question when I was like, oh, I don't know really this, but yeah. Um, I have my wine cup of coffee because I cannot get through this without any caffeine. But yeah, I'm gonna decide on which one I wanna study first and roll the study time lapse. Hello, um, I have pretty much finished studying as and for the test. I'm honestly gonna say that I haven't really checked if I have actual homework, but I will do that right now. But I think I've done all the homework if I have any homework. But I was thinking of finishing an essay that I was writing on my literary analysis on um, No Longer Human by Osama Dazai because I just decided, you know what, I have my free time, I want to do some literary analysis. I'm also very much inclined to do a literary analysis on the book I'm currently reading, which is uh, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, this book is, oh my god, so great, I've been annotating so much, and it just had, this book has, like, proposed to me viewpoints and standpoints and everything on analyzing this and the time that it was written, like, so greatly. I definitely want to write at least one essay slash kind of a thingy analysis work. And I just want to, like, analyze this so much because I just love this book. I'm definitely giving this five star. It might be even the best book of 2023, which is kind of easy. I've read very little books uh, this year. I think I've read, like, nine books. And even today, I've made quite a big progress in reading. Right now, I'm on page 178. And this book only has 242 chapter chapters, oh my god, no, uh, pages. But yeah, I'm probably, if I don't have homework, I'm gonna finish up my No Longer Human essay and read this lovely book. But yeah. Hello, I just wanted to pop in and say I finished The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I'm so happy I finished it. This is how many tabs I did. It's quite a lot. Um, As I previously said, I want to write at least like something similar to essay, at least one. Definitely more. There are so many viewpoints and topics I want to talk about about this book. Even though this is not an academic read, I just read it for fun. I just love this book. I am moving on to a book I need to read for school, which is kind of stressful because now I actually have to analyze and like 
I'm losing an understanding when I'm losing like fully for school because of grade eight up. But yeah, it's like starting to get late. It's almost 10 p.m. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna just chill and watch YouTube or play something and then go to sleep. I don't wanna read much today. I've already read quite a lot. And I started reading the book. I just cannot do anything. So yeah, see you tomorrow if I film anything. I'm almost home and it just started raining. I'm so lucky. Also, fish and my new sweater. Hello, um, it's the next day. And turns out my TBR slash the books I'm reading slash the books I hope to be reading or even have to read are changing because before today my TBR was already large and I know I won't read all of this in one month this is probably like the whole autumn TBR but these are the books this one I definitely need to have to get through this because this was originally the only book I had to read for school but now added bonus is this book this is a full almost complete collection of a poet's poems and i'm not gonna have to read all of them but i need to figure out poems or a poem i'm not really sure yet again don't know the assignment fully yet but i'm gonna have to read quite a lot of poems so this is another a book added. To be honest, I kind of like this edition a lot. Like, just a silly guy. It's simple. It is an old book. It's my mother's old book. And now I have it, which is very fun. But yeah, those are the two books that I need to read for school. Then I have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Already started reading it. Not reading right now. Then we have... Needleworks by uh, Deidre Sullivan. Sullivan. Very interesting synopsis. Want to read it a lot. Then we have A Song of Solomon. I'm so excited. Uh, Jack Edwards, not recently, but recently posted a video about buying books, and uh, this is one of them. And he really like sold me to it because he had read Tori Morrison's other work. I don't know which one, but I happen to have this book by a uh, book exchange, and I, now I really want to read it, even though it's 400 pages, so probably not quite realistic. Then we have Gothic uh, short stories, which are my chosen read for maybe if I want to read like a very little piece of work during October to just get into the spooky vibes. I've read like I want to say two stories of this whole anthology. I want to read all of them, but I've only right now read Bernice and maybe Sir Bertrand, a fragment, which is funny, but yeah, that's what I read. And then we have the spider in the corner of the room. This is, I'm guessing, a horror slash thriller. Oh, a thriller. Yes, a thriller. So these are my spooky books. Uh, which are very excited to read, but probably won't read because too much schoolwork reads. But I also have a snack. I have a chocolate bar. This is a chocolate bar with caramel and peanuts, which is just amazing. I love this. This chocolate bar is so great. I'm gonna eat it and chill and then probably start going through some poems. I already started going through some poems. Uh, digitally while going home. So yeah. I'm just calling to say I 